to make you comfortable like Howard Kelly said. Well, I'm here with number 20, <laughs> Lem Bonnie. <laughs> I love that man. Okay, let's get back to the live action. Lem Barney, Hall of Fame career, number 20, the Motor City Kitty with the Detroit Lions. Defense is not the defense that you're used to seeing being played or that you played when you were in your prime out of Jackson State. Could you play today? Well, I tell you, I, I really do. I think I could play today because of the uh, training uh, techniques in which I was uh, very familiar with. One of the greatest things that helped me in both the uh, collegiate uh, area as well as in the professional area is that I had a college coach who played the corner, played defensive back at Jackson State as well, where I played collegiate ball and then drafted by the Detroit Lions going up Jimmy David, who played on the 52 and the 57 championship team, along with Bobby Lane, as well as Coach Joe Schmidt, who were in the Hall of Fame as well, uh, was my coach my first seven years. So playing in whatever area, learning techniques and fundamentals and principles of the game, I think I could play in today's uh, market. Uh, speed is still one of the greatest assets that a ball player can have, but if you not not as uh, proficient in your style and technique, the the speed doesn't really help because of right. the various speeds that receivers have today. The speed has accelerated, no no question about that. I, I think uh, the weightlifting, uh, the workout programs today has been enhanced from the years in which I played. They've got various uh, techniques for the training and machinery today that we didn't have during the 60s and the 70s in which I played. But to, but overall thinking, my thoughts are in my preparation for the game and my off-season training, I think I could really play in today's market. Well, I wouldn't doubt it, no. Uh, you're revered in uh, in, in Detroit, uh, and but the Lions have had it, they've had a tough time. Uh, they, they just can't seem to, they look like they were coming on maybe two years ago and they keep, what, are you involved at all with the team or anybody associated with it? No, not at all. Uh, I haven't been associated with football uh, since, since my leaving the Detroit Lions in uh, 1978. And uh, I've watched the game and not only watched it, I broadcast it uh, with BET for 20 some years, Black Entertainment Television, Charlie Neal and I, and I did some uh, broadcasts with uh, Channel 2 in Detroit doing the Lions during preseason for a number of years. but. The game, uh, to me, it, it, it's passed by me now. I, I really don't spend a lot of time watching the game. Uh, I don't have anything against the game at all, but I just don't have anything for the game anymore. It's mm -hmm. because I gave the game all, everything I had during the time I was there. I don't regret anything about the game, is what I'm trying to say. I gave it all that I had during the time I was there. Yeah, well, your rookie year, how many interceptions? Ten interceptions uh, yeah. tied for uh, league honor and uh, interception with David Witzel from the New Orleans Saints. Uh, we were co-interception leaders in 1967. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, what are you, what are you involved in now? Well, my, my line of uh, occupational trade now is I'm, I'm at a hospital, Sinai Grace Hospital in Detroit, Michigan. They have uh, seven hospitals, and I'm the clerk. I help to uh, register and sign in family members who are coming to see their family members who are having surgeries or various procedures done by the physicians at Sinai Grace Hospital. And I try to help to uh, calm their nerves and keep them cool and getting them uh, ice cream and juices and coffees and wow. trying to keep them uh, sedated and not to over worry. Say prayers for them at certain times as well. So, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's something I look on as being in the ministry as well, which I've been in the ministry for 34 years now. Well, listen, you can learn a lot talking to Lem Barney. <laughs> and one thing I know about you, you've been a, a, a real gentleman, uh, not only uh, when you were an active player, but you know since you've been retired, and uh, an inspiration to a lot of people. Uh, Hall of Fame, you can't, you can't get a better career than you, than you put together. And we appreciate you taking the time. And uh, I know for a fact, you were Howard Cosell's favorite player. <laughs> the Motor City Kitty. I love that man. Thank you, Lombardi. <laughs> Thank you, brother. God bless you.